The South African government plans to implement national health insurance. The 2011 Green Paper on NHI speaks of the priority of strengthening district health services. Government has issued provincial guidelines for the implementation of the three streams of PHC reengineering for the current district health system district clinical specialist teams, school health teams, and PHC outreach teams. We are implementing the PHC outreach team program using the National Department of Health's toolkit and trying to improve on it. Although government references this PHC program to Cuban and Brazilian experiences, it is actually a South African innovation. Cubans and Brazilians were inspired by the community audit primary care approach modeled by Sydney and Emily Kark in the 1930s in Polela, KwaZulu-Natal. The Karks with students went to Polela, supported by a team. Their first innovation was to develop the community health center with team-based comprehensive care serving 30,000 people in the rural community of Polela, where the norm in the country was private GP care. Their second innovation was to develop community oriented primary care for small defined areas which is based on combining personal care with public care. They examined the impact annually, comparing a new area with the previous areas. The Jalis, Edward, a medical aide, and Amelia, a nurse, were also key to developments at Polela. By 1948, there were more than 40 such CHCs in South Africa, and plans were afoot for a national health service similar to that in the United Kingdom. Their work spread throughout the world. However, the Karks were persecuted by the apartheid government and left to Jerusalem in 1958. COPC has taken root in many parts of the world, Israel, Spain, USA, Canada, Cuba, Brazil, etc. The PHC outreach program is based on municipal ward. Each ward is expected to have one or more PHC outreach teams composed of one professional nurse, one environmental health officer, and one health promotion practitioner as well as six community health workers. They are expected with one other professional nurse and enrolled nurse at the clinic to serve a population of about 1,619 families or 7,660 people in accountable delivery of services. Each PHC outreach team will offer an integrated health service to the households and individual within the catchment area. The roles of the PHC outreach team are promoting health, preventing ill health, environmental health, psychosocial support, early detection of diseases, follow-up of adherence, minor ailments and basic first aid. The roles of each community health worker allocated 270 households include health assessments, promoting the health of households and individuals, referring after basic screening, simple health interventions and psychosocial support. There appear to be challenges with the implementation of the PHC outreach program. These are poor human resource planning, the lack of skills and the lack of integration. It is becoming a glorified screening program and not community oriented primary care. The concept of COPC is not completely understood nor being acknowledged, let alone celebrated in South Africa. The team from Josie Family Medicine, a research syndicate linked to the WITS Department of Family Medicine, has been attempting to implement COPC as the Cox did. We have set up a community practice, as we term it, in Soweto, as a real-life model suitable for national health insurance. Community practice has been modelled as a simple and practical framework for implementation, emerging from the Cox work and the worldwide work on COPC since. The model is simple. It consists of four blocks, deploying community health workers in the community, re-engineering PHC services, engaging with stakeholders, and health promotion. The community practice is allowing us to implement COPC easily and transferably, taking one ward with a small section of the CHC at a time. The idea is to keep these four elements in mind and build each up cyclically in moving towards COPC. It is already contributing to important research and training. Shewelo Community Practice is an example. Shewelo was established as an ethnic extension to Soweto in 1956 for Tsonga and Venda speaking residents. This was part of the state's strategy to sift black Africans into groupings that would later form the building blocks of the so-called independent homelands. Shewelo consists of many wards, 11, 12, 15 and 19, with the Shewelo CHC, the Black Square, at the edges of three of them. There are a whole host of services provided by the Community Health Centre and its staff. Unfortunately, the service is very fragmented. 
patients have to move from one section to another in strongly verticalized programs. Work on the Ward 11 PHC outreach team only began in January 2014 when the Josie Family Medicine team were given a small space in the community health center. The Josie Family Medicine team began PHC outreach teamwork in Ward 11, employing nine CHWs via VIT since February 2014 and obtaining a further nine volunteers since March 2014. VITS has renovated and furnished the spaces allocated in Shawello to Family Medicine to serve as offices, seminar room, as well as consulting spaces. Let's take you through Shewelo community practice using the model we've talked about before. Ward 11 consists of the upper half of the suburb of Shewelo. CHWs are operative in houses across the Soweto part of Ward 11. The clip sprayed part of Ward 11 is across the railway line and is not covered yet. A Google map of Ward 11 or just around the community health centre was printed out with ward borders drawn. The whole area was crisscrossed by CHWs with each and every household visited and each family even in backyard shacks noted. A street summary list of all families was developed and helped us decide on the area we could cover. Nine CHWs with assistance were then deployed into a set of streets and families. Each CHW has been visiting a family to do a household assessment. This includes household details, including housing issues, a list of family members and household illness and health risk issues, HIV, TB, pregnancy, etc. This serves to register the family into the Shewelo community practice. Each family is given a letter that states that a team at the Shewelo community practice is providing all registered families in Ward 11 with all healthcare services daily, free and in a patient-centered way. Patients may come by referral of CHWs or if they feel sick or need chronic medication. We are encouraging patients to make appointments to ensure short waiting times. CHWs are busy capturing data themselves and have already helped to begin a community profile or diagnosis of Ward 11. They have mapped the community and registered 6,830 residents or 1,471 families of the estimated 12,000 residents or 3,800 families of Ward 11 using the National Department of Health tools. CHWs have also been tasked to build up the list of key stakeholders in the community and have mapped many resources in the community, for example schools, churches, etc. that are put up in clinicians' consulting rooms. Clinicians facilitate the CHW's learning for one hour every afternoon using the National Department of Health training manual and key health documents. CHW's are busy developing a list of patients per condition such that they can map it onto the wall with different color pins. The clinicians are made aware at the beginning of their time of the dynamics of the community and regularly discuss issues with CHW's, besides themselves going out with CHW's for prearranged necessary home visits on Wednesday afternoons. The CHWs are coordinated by a CHW supervisor, Bongani Rampwane. Analysis of the 1,471 families showed that there was 100% access to electricity, toilet, piped water and working fridges. 29% received grants and 1% seemed to be eligible for a grant. Health screening questions showed up some key problems. 452 people needing an HIV test. 91 people suspected of TB, 21 people needing home-based care, 73 women needing family planning, 57 pregnancies and 31 newly delivered children. On a population level, the prominent chronic diseases were hypertension, diabetes, HIV, asthma, epilepsy, arthritis and mental illness. While this data is not complete, it does provide us useful information. There were varying interpretations of the question by CHWs and some missed households. Patients come straight to the Shewelo community practice for all services needed. They usually make an appointment. The office is coordinated by CHW, Tuli Makausu. CHWs as receptionists collect information, make up a family folder. The clinician usually fetches the patient from the waiting room with the family folder reviews the CHW file to understand the family and community, and then writes notes with instruction for CHWs to follow up. There is also a weekly discussion as a team on problem patients. The Shiawelo community practice is now a comprehensive service, from immunization to ARVs. All CHC processes and systems are respected. 
There is a paper trail for all work done in this space. Reports are provided monthly to the facility manager. The clinical associate, Ms. Shivani Pillay, is seeing all patients from Ward 11 currently. Utilization has grown from four visits per day in February 2014 to 30 per day in May, requiring additional nursing staff. We are building a profile of morbidity using the International Classification of Primary Care and exploring how integrated chronic disease management can improve utilization. There have been regular one-to-one -one discussions with a variety of stakeholders. They are on three levels, health system, intersectoral, and community. We have met with managers, nurses, allied healthcare workers, social workers, schools, traditional healers, churches, the CHC committee, etc. Considerable engagement has occurred with the ward committee of Ward 11. David Campy, a CHW, is coordinating this stakeholder engagement. A monthly meeting occurs every second Tuesday of the month with key stakeholders to work on priority issues. We are working with the councillor towards a quarterly-wide stakeholder meeting to engage a variety of stakeholders. We have begun secondary prevention based on the data collected, including following up on screening outcomes, for example, high numbers of people wanting HIV tests and TB suspects. CHWs are also using pivot tables to develop a clear list in their files of people to follow up. We have discussed a way forward for primary prevention and health promotion. Each CHW is developing a weekly support or health literacy group meeting in the area. We are also considering using WhatsApp for group messages to residents with chronic diseases. We are also planning to visit schools in collaboration with the newly employed nurse. We are also planning a daily walking club for the ward with the occupational therapist and physiotherapist. Health promotion is complex, but it is evolving slowly based on our interaction with data from CHWs, practice and community consultations. CCP, CCP, show it our community practice. CCP, CCP, we make a difference in the community. CCP. CCP, we make the cocoa feel my better. CCP, CCP, we help people to help themselves. CCP, CCP, we bring change in this community. CCP, 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 show it our community practice. CCP, CCP, show it our community practice. CCP, show it our community practice. CCP, show it our community practice. Wow, this is very wonderful. It will be of a great impact and it will, be, will benefit the people of Ward, 50, Ward, Ward 11 and the surrounding areas. I think the Shawala Community Practice Day will bring a lot because now, because our clinic is always full, at least we are doing better to make it easier because this clinic is taking a lot of people from other places. I think this practice, they must take over, they must change everything. They must do the way they like to do because people, they know how to work with the patient. They know how to care about the patient. So I think if we can give them a time, they will do a great thing. They will change everything that they, they are doing. So I think they're coming with a, 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 new, a new thing that we don't know. The Chavelo Community Practice, I think it's, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It is new. But so far, since it, it has started, we see it, most of the communities, they are getting a good help. This practice, it is the best thing because they go to the patient, the patient who, who can come to the clinic. So I think it's, it helps most of the patient because we do get the results from the community. They are telling us 
they've heard about so such and such and such community workers who are who come to the who visit to the houses and so they need them so as i am in this health facility i i direct them to come to this practice so that they must get that help based on the time this practice started in this clinic i think it was long overdue it should have started 10 years ago otherwise we are going to see the new chawelo because the way this practice is running it relieves the influx that we used to have in this clinic many many years the practice is good i wish it could continue to serve the community as they do i think the partnership with the practice the community and the community health committee members can go very far to improve the better life for each and every community in the area. I also wish that can expand. The practice should go and be seen and be accepted in all the wards, or if not, the whole of South Africa. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed and um, I like what is happening here and I like the way you, the people are handling the, the going out into the streets, talking to people and bringing people to the clinic. It actually, actually makes us jealous, those of us that is Ward 11, but living on the other side of the line, uh, we would also love this to happen uh, because we can see what is happening here. It's good. It's a cool thing that is going on here. Shawelo community practice, I think it will bring a big difference as we were not happy with our clinic previously. So we think this practice will at least make the workload to be easier for the clinics, provided the communication is good and we work as a team. About this practice, what I think, I think that uh, we have to to take the clinic from where it is to the higher grade like uh, hospitals. This is good what opgekomen want. Allemaal maar net samenwerken bij elkaar staan en dan zal het ver gaan het en beter er is voor de mensen wat ik like als die dokters zal. Je kent het liefst met die dokters gezels en zo en alle gezels ook zit ons bij de hospitaal. You, you know, this is a great thing to me. To tell the truth, this nowadays we've got people who can communicate with them, especially their doctors. You can communicate with them, you can share your problems. What I like with them, they'll ask you questions, the, the right questions, they'll ask you about yourself, about your illness especially. You may find some of the people that are afraid to say that I'm ill, I've got this and all that. But those people, they cancel you until you understand what they're saying. They're very good to us. I wish them that they must do it even to other places because they're great. You know, when we work together, we'll go far. Hitayakule. Hitaba the best. Lokomiba bona ashtratin. Please. Bye bye yinki selin. Bata mi puna. Na lokuba jakaya. Bata bata. Fushela Akaya, Loko Obabja, seriously. They will visit you at home when you are ill. These people are the best, I'm telling you. Thank you very much.